Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back for another lighting chat, but we're doing this one live from DJ Expo at the ADJ booth, and I have got Arnaldo. Arnaldo, there's lots of lights. There are so many lights. They are, there are fun there's lights. There's more than five. I mean, there's like tons of them, and you got to take us around. Oh yeah, you absolutely. Gotta, you got to take the crowd now. You're gonna, you're gonna take them around on a tour of visual excitement. Absolutely. And we'll talk lights too. Absolutely. <laughs> it's gonna be great. So let's jump right into it. You know, one of our most popular things that we've had here today is this awesome facade. Believe it or not, it's not a facade though. It's just a series of our 86 panels that we've mounted onto our truss, our five foot totems, to make it work as a facade. Now the 86 panels are insanely bright. Just as a comparison, the average bright computer monitor is uh, what we call two to three hundred nits right it's the rating that a lot of the displays use these guys are 1200 nits which is basically Latin for incredibly bright one of the nice things about the panels is they're modular so you can have them you know one panel like this you can have them all broken up you can have just every other panel have empty stuff in between maybe you can put moving heads or something in between empty panels but using either your DJ software or video mixing software these panels can have anything put on it so for example we could have music videos we can do visuals such as the one you see here it's got a real nice fast refresh rate bright vivid colors and again that's the AV6 panel they all connect together with cat5 cable they go into our display driver and they appear just as a second monitor very easy to use again the AV6 panel from ADJ available now so one of the new lights that we have you see right here, this is the Mega Hex PAR. It comes in the Mega Hex pack, which is two PARs, your cabling plus the bag. What we did here is we took the really popular Hex LEDs, red, green, blue, white, amber, and UV, and put them in a much more economical casing. It's small, thin, weight, portable, and it gives you absolutely beautiful set of colors that would not, not normally be available with LED, such as hot pinks, cyans, lime greens. And again, that is the Mega Hex PAR. One of the really new exciting fixtures that we have is a new PAR Z4. This features 10 watts of e on each LED of RGBW, Cree LED, so 40 watts total. But if you notice, it's a little bit of a long PAR. The reason is because that lens zooms out from 10 to 60 degrees. So you can use it anywhere from a pin spot to a nice wide wash. That is the PAR Z4. If you want it in a moving head option, we've combined the PAR Z4 with our popular Inno Pocket Wash. And now we have the Inno Pocket Z4. Again, you get those nice smooth color movements, real nice quick fast pan and tilt movements but you're combining it with the 10 to 60 degree lens. So now the same light that's doing a nice tight spotlight dance for the bride and groom is now doing an overall white wash. So one of our popular foggers has been the Fog Fury Jet. We've had a lot of DJs say, hey, is there something a little bit more affordable that can do that same effect? So we got rid of a lot of the extras. We have just RGB LEDs instead of RGBA. It's now, it mounts only right side up, meaning no upside down function. And it uses the remote control only versus DMX. But what you have is a real, it's a really pretty because it's white, lightweight, very economical volcano or cryogenic type effect. Still a very impressive 25 degree beam. And one of the things I want to show you is, again, you'll be able to run it for quite a few seconds at a time. Now most foggers will usually take a while for them to warm back up. In less than 45 seconds, between 30 to 45 seconds, this thing's going to be ready to go again. Making one of the fastest, rechar or fastest recharges in a fogger around. Look at that, right there, ready to go for another blast. And again, that's the VF Volcano from ADJ. Now for a quick little history lesson. About 30 years ago, because we're celebrating our 30th anniversary, two brothers came together and said, you know what? We noticed that DJs don't have a lot of pure lighting excitement in their shows. So they decided to create or bring in lights that DJs can use. And of course, that eventually became American DJ. But what they did that nobody else had is they took literally one of those old school, well, back then it was new, the animated Santa, the Coca-Cola hat that would react and dance to the music. They took the function out of that and put it into a light. And they created the very first sound to light function in a light ever. And that was what the Davies brothers did with American DJ. Now let's fast forward now. A lot of the effects that you see now have been thanks to those efforts. So we have a lot of cool lights that we wanted to bring back the old school feeling. You'll see a whole bunch in there. We have, for example, the inner pocket scan, which goes back to some of our beginner scanners, you know, really small scanners that we had. We have the mini decker, which is actually this one's great because it's very affordable. It's DMXable, very easy to control via DMX or standalone. 
And then one of the newer lights that we have is our StarTech series of lights, starting with the Stinger. Now the Stinger combines an effect that we pioneered years ago, and that was with the Fusion Bar FX. We combined the Fusion Bar FX with the Triphase effect, and now what you have is you have your Triphase type effect, you've got these strobes, and while they look really small, they're very, very bright, and of course you have your multi-laser effect coming out of it. But again, this is the bigger version of the Fusion Bar FX combined with the Triphase effect. Also with our StarTech series, one of my personal favorites from the StarTech has been the Starburst. Now, I do a lot of big school dances personally, I also do a lot of weddings, all events big and small. But no matter what happens, the mirror ball is a classic effect. So I bought the Spherion Tri-LED. The Spherion Tri-LED only had red, green and blue LEDs. When I wanted white, I had to use the Spherion WH. The Starburst fixes that, because now we have red, green, blue, white, we have amber, and we have a UV effect, which I don't need to tell you, looks really cool when you're doing it in the middle of the dance floor. It also has color mixing too, so I can add a little bit of the red, a little bit of the UV, and now I'm going to have some hot pink beams coming out, which looks incredible. And again, that is a Starburst, part of our StarTech series. Right next to me, we have the VisiBeam 5RX. My goodness, this guy is bright. What we have here is it's being powered by the Philips 5R lamp, which was pioneered with the help of our sister company, Elation. This little guy here is absolutely ridiculously bright, fast. When you get out of it, are these really nice, tight beams. With the beam shaper and the motorized focus, you can get a super tight beam that will go across an entire field with no problem. This is definitely an effect that you want to have haze to truly enjoy, but if you use it outdoors, obviously be careful for the rain, this isn't an IP rated fixture, but if you use it outdoors, usually with the humidity, you'll get some really cool beams coming out so you can create that Hollywood type of effect at a budget of that price. The VisiBeam 5RX is being controlled by our Wi-Fi Any One controller. Personally, this has been one of the fastest growing products that I've seen, not, really, not only in terms of how well it's selling, but how fast users are adopting it. We have a Facebook community with hundreds of people from around the world all helping each other. Here's what the Wi-Fi Anyone does. It's plug and play DMX. You get profiles that you load onto this little USB stick, you patch them in, and now I can select my fixture, right? So I'm gonna select my fixture right there. There's my VisiBeam 5RX. So I'm gonna turn it on. I can select my colors. So let's go over here. I can select my colors there. So you can see the colors are changing while he's or he the little lights moving around. We can change the gobos. I can even select movement as well. So I can slow it down. I can speed it up if I want to do that. I'll show you real quick how that works. There it is right there. And if I have multiple moving heads, I can even do phasing in between as well. And at the same time, you can see how smooth the movement on the Vizi 5RX is. Now, the reason you get the really nice smooth movement is because it's 16-bit pan and tilt motors. Stepper motors are usually 8-bit. 16-bit means that you have the fine pan and tilt movement. And we're going to really slow this guy down. Now, I could probably take it a little bit slower if I delved into the DMX settings. But there it is. And it's a very quiet fixture as well. But the Wi-Fi Any One, it can be hardwired like it is right now. Or you can use your Wi-Fi controller or transceivers to be able to control this wirelessly. Speaking of Wi-Fi's, we have a new product that's coming out. And there's already a few lights that are marked Wi-Fi EXR. The Wi-Fi EXR will have a 2,000 foot unobstructed range. But even if it's obstructed, that means that you're going to have a much further throw than your traditional Wi-Fi. So again, the Wi-Fi EXR will be coming out soon. We have a couple of the IP rated fixtures as well that use that technology. Speaking of, let's grab one right now. Speaking of the Wi-Fi EXR, this is one of our new PARs right here. Now the little guy that I'm holding here, this is the Wi-Fi EXR QA5 IP. We also have it in a hex version. QA5 means RGB and amber. Not only is this wireless DMX with a 2,000 foot range, not only is it battery powered, but it's also IP65 rated. Now IP65, the ingress protection rating, ingress meaning what can uh, go in it, the six means that it's pretty much protecting or protected against any kind of dirt, dust. So if you put it in, uh, let's say, you know, if it's in the middle of a sandstorm or if, you know, it's a real dirty area, a lot of humidity, whatever the case may be, it's protected against that. The five rating means that it can take um, a nozzle jet of water hitting it uh, from a 6.3 millimeter nozzle, which is amazing that an engineer figured that out. But basically it means that if somebody gets drunk and spills their water all over your light, you don't have to worry about it. 
It also means that you can now rent your lights to be used outdoors. You're no longer just a mobile DJ. You are now a mobile production company offering stuff that your competition cannot offer. But more importantly, it'll last you longer than your average uplight. And again, that is a new QA5 IP, the Wi-Fi EXR QA5 IP, also available in Hex. And we also have a version that's in a bar instead of a par. Last but not least is one of our brand new lights, the ADJ on X. Now this guy is very similar to the Crazy 8, but it has eight LEDs, one or two are white, two are red, two are green, and two are blue. And then you'll see the little uh, arms individually swivel out. With haste, this is a killer effect, especially when you pair them out. One of the unique things about the Onyx is that along with all of our new lights, they're not going to be released to the public for a couple more weeks or months, whatever the case may be. But those that attended the show today was able to get them from IDJ now right away. So that was something really cool. Onyx can be a real popular effect. If you're doing school dances, you're going to love the throw from these beams. They're only 3 watt LEDs, but they have a long throw out of each individual LED. Our sister company, Elation, has a product called the Sniper 2R. It was an instant hit. It was a laser simulator using a regular traditional 2R lamp as opposed to a laser. This allowed you to do crowd scanning, which if you've ever done lasers, you know it's not legal to crowd scan. A lot of mobile DJs asked, well, is there something a little bit more affordable for the average mobile DJ? A hey, DJ listened and put this little guy together. The ricochet is small, portable, and powerful. Rather than a 2R lamp, it uses a 20-watt beam. It's got a very concentrated beam coming out of it. Insanely fast motors. So you get a liquid sky effect, the tunnel cone effect, or even a wave effect. Ricochet comes with a bright, again, white LED with a color wheel with smooth transitions. This guy is definitely an effect that you have to see to believe. Arnaldo, this is an awesome show this year and there's a lot of cool stuff. If people would want to find out more information about any of the lights here that you've just talked about, where can they go? Alright, so of course you can go to ADJ.com. You can also find us on YouTube and see all the new product demos and such. And of course, find us on Facebook. You'll be able to find everything there. We also have a new group called I Am ADJ. Go in there and you'll get all the news definitely there first. And we'll put those links in the description below because we want the people to go there and we want you to go and check out Arnaldo's page because he's got some cool stuff out there. You've got your master school dances stuff. You've got your, your, your uh, everything, man. This guy is just busy. Plus the mixtape. It's hot. It's like fire. He's got it. <laughs> for those of you out there watching, thank you for watching. Yeah. You'll be able to subscribe to our channel if you don't already, which you should. If you don't subscribe to our channel, subscribe to Arnaldo's channel because if you don't see cool stuff here, you'll see cool stuff there. Or you could do both and really be exciting. That'd be kind of fun. That would be awesome. I mean, that's it. There's nothing else on YouTube besides DJ News and on my channel. Pretty everything, much it. Yeah, everything gonna... else is just cats and Kardashians. We like cats and Kardashians have got big... But, I got but cats, anyway... I got cats on my channel. That's so. true. There's cats. Okay, you got you know, you to go check this out. There's one of his recent videos is showing up. Was that the volcano? That was the Fog Fury jet. The, the Fog Fury jet. We're testing it. I'm in another room <laughs> to see how far this remote can go and one of the cats decided to sniff it. I guess I should have had somebody in the room and... Right at the curtain they went. They... They Great jump pretty high. humor for those of us who love cats. <laughs> well, the, once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This is another episode of our Lighting Chat here, live from DJ Expo 2015. Thanks for watching. Good night. Thank you. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, please click the link right down below. Make your <laughs> best. Hey. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, please click the link right down below me here. That's the subscribe to our YouTube video channel, and that'll keep you up to date on all the new releases on Disc Jockey News and Disc Jockey News TV. Or you can check out a playlist of all of our DJ tips that we put together right here. Or check out the Bill and Jason show on DJ and TV that comes out every Thursday night right here. Or our Wednesday night show, The Rewind Report with Michael Joseph. Catch up on all of what's new in the DJ industry by clicking the link right here. Any one of them. Three, four likes, subscribe, tips, Bill and Jason, the Rewind Report, click one of them, really, you can, don't click me, I, I don't do anything, they do things, I just stand here and talk, that's pretty much what I do.